I recently picked up a new gun and it's the Prodigy DS 9mm. I ordered it with the Dragonfly, I thought, on the pistol. It was not mounted. You have to mount that yourself. And then you've got to zero it. I had to come 25 up and 15 to the right to get it zeroed. So let's take some shots with the gun. We got a close range today. We're the only ones here. No one's around. So that's the second magazine I've run through it. No issues whatsoever with the gun. It runs great. Let's reload. The gun does run well. It shoots really well. It's got a really abrasive grip on it here, but that's what you want, right? So you can hang on to it, especially in wet conditions like this. It's drizzling on us today. I actually do like the gun. I'm not having any issues running the gun at all. The safety, really easy to access here. It's in a perfect location, so when it comes out, safety's off. You're ready to fire the gun. Magazine release, easy to access the magazine release on the gun. For an entry level 2011, it's a really nice gun. Coming with the fiber optics on the front. And when you do order your Dragonfly, you're gonna get a plate that goes with it and your rear sights are here. And you can co-witness the rear sights with the front sight through the Dragonfly. Let's try the 26 round magazine in it. Well, it definitely runs fast, doesn't it? A lot of people are complaining and saying that this pistol has a lot of issues with it. And I'm just not seeing that. I've got the 4.5 version of it and it's just running flawless for me. No issues whatsoever. <laughs> and slide trigger we ran through that ammo really really fast with it this 26 round magazine is a lot of fun to shoot i've been carrying this gun today so i went ahead and got a holster for it and it it is heavy no no doubt about it but it hides well underneath my shirt not having any problem with it but it is a substantial gun there is a lot of weight to it and when I was carrying over here, it was digging into my side a little bit, riding in the car. I do think there's some better options, some lighter weight options out there. But if you're a diehard 1911 and you want that double stack gun, this just might be the option for you. For me though, walking around all day carrying this heavy thing, uh, I don't think I'd want to do that. Of course, I don't do a whole lot of walking anymore, right? I'm getting a little better at it. I'm standing a little more. Uh, I'm doing this video standing up here. I guess you gotta decide what you're gonna do with this Springfield Prodigy. Home defense gun, absolutely, 100%. Nice light with a laser built into the light for it for home protection. It'd be great for that, especially with dropping this 26 round magazine in it at the house, right? Range gun to come shoot at the range whole lot of fun no doubt about that very accurate runs good and i didn't do anything to it i pulled it out of the box and just started shooting it okay i know a lot of people say they get it out they oil it and grease it i like to see how it's going to run it right out of the box for myself let you guys get a good look at the gun there let's take a look at the trigger here on it little bit of take up in that trigger you apply pressure and it breaks nice and crisp here's your reset really short reset in it squeeze the trigger it breaks short reset fire and it breaks 
So I did test the trigger pull on it. It says it's like six pounds, nine ounces, six pounds, 11 ounces. I, I don't believe that. When you're out here and actually firing the gun, it feels like more like four and a half to me pulling it with my finger. Really easy to pull the trigger. So they did a nice job on the trigger on the gun. The slide release on the gun is tucked away in here. So if you're reloading really fast and you're coming back up, I'm not anywhere near that slide release. We're gonna have to come up with this hand to knock that slide release down so that slide goes forward. I think the spring weight, my opinion, is perfect for factory ammo in it. If I was gonna shoot it in competition, I would definitely put a lighter spring in the thing because my lighter ammo would, uh, would push that thing all the way back. I think I'd get stoppages in it. But the Springfield Prodigy DS, I think it's a good gun. It runs well, feels really good in the hand. You can really hang on to it. Got a lot of grip on it here. Safety on and off, really easy for you. It is ambidextrous. I do like that on the right side of the gun here, where your trigger finger goes, it's nice and small, the safety, if you can see that. And then you look over here where you're actually manipulating it, it's a lot wider. That way you can get your thumb on it and operate it. But over here on this side, it's really small and out of the way. So it's not bothering you while you're shooting. Now, if you're a lefty, that may be a little bit of an issue for you, but there's still plenty of room for you to catch it and take it and get it on and off there. Remember folks, be a responsible adult. Don't push your responsibility as an adult off onto a child. Buy gun locks and gun safes. Till next time folks, take care.